Blessed is the kingdom of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto ages of the age of Amen. Glory to thee, our God, glory to thee. O heavenly King, comforter, spirit of truth, forever present in those all things. Treasury of blessings and the giver of life, come and abide in us and cleanse us from every impurity and save our souls, O good one. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, that now and ever and in the ages. Amen. O most holy Trinity, have mercy on us, O Lord, God of our sins, O Master, pardon our iniquities. O Holy One, who is in any mind, for me, for the name's sake. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, for now and ever and in the ages. Amen. Amen. Our Father, who art in the heavens, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts, as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not to temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. And thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Glory to the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. O come, let us worship God, our King. O come, let us worship and fall down before Christ, our King, God. O come, let us worship and fall down before Christ Himself, our King, our God. Bless the Lord, O my soul, O Lord, my God, thou hast been magnified exceedingly. Confession and majesty hast thou put on, and covers thyself and light as the garment. Who stretches out the heaven as a clear curtain, who supported the chambers and the waters, who points the clouds as a scent. Who walketh upon the wings of the winds, who maketh his angel spirits and his ministers a flame of fire, who establisheth the earth and the strength of rubbish shall not be turned back forever and ever. <coughs> the abyss, like a garment, is his mantle, and upon the mountains shall the waters stand. At thy rebuke, he will flee, the voice of thy thunder shall be afraid. The mountains rise up, and the plains sink down, and the place where thou hast established them. Thou findest the bound that they shall not pass, neither return to cover the earth. He sendeth forth springs in the valleys. They shall give drink to all the beasts of the field, the wild beasts of the world, and the shadows. Beside them are the birds of the heaven, and the midst of the rock, where they voice. He watereth the mountains from his chambers, the earth shall be satisfied with the fruits of the heavens. He causeth the grass to grow the cattle, and the green earth, and the service of men, to bring forth pride out of the earth, wine to the flood of the heart of man, to make his face cheerful, and the oil and bread strengthen in man's heart. The trees and the plain shall be satisfied, the cedars of Lebanon, which thou hast planted. There are the sparrows make their nests, the house of the hare and the sheep among them. The high mountains are refuge for their hearts, and so is the rock of the hares. Yet may the moon perceives that the sun moon is going down. Thou appointest the darkness, and there is the night, when all the beasts, the forest, will go abroad. The young lions, pouring after thy prey, seek their fruit from God. The sun ariseth, and they are gathered together, and they lay them down in their tents. But none shall the forth to his work, and to his labor, and to the evening. Thou magnify thy works, O Lord, and listen, hast thou made them all, the earth is filled with thy creation. So is this great and spacious sea. There are things creeping innumerable, small and confusedly great. There go the ships, there the strong, and thou hast made to play therein. All things wait on thee to give them their work in due season. When thou givest to them, they will gather it. When thou puttest thy hand, all things shall be filled with goodness. When thou turnest away, they shall be, they shall be troubled. Thou wilt take their spirit, and they shall seize none their dust, they return. Thou wilt support the spirit, and they shall be created, and thou shalt produce the earth. Let the glory of the Lord be in the ages. The Lord rejoices in his works, who look upon the earth, and make the tremble, and touch the mountains, and they smoke. I will sing with the Lord throughout my life, I will turn to my God for as long as I have my being. May my words be sweet unto him, and I will rejoice in the Lord. All that sinners would cease from the earth, and they that would be grieved that they should be no more. Bless the Lord, O my soul. The sun knoweth the spring down, the points of the darkness, there is the light. How find the fire that works the Lord, and wisdom hast thou made him all. Glory to the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, look now and ever, and create space, Amen. Hallelujah, 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 glory to you, O God. Hallelujah, 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 glory to you, O God. Hallelujah, 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 glory to you, O God. In peace, let us pray to the Lord. Those who enter with faith, love, and sincere 
Keep us, O God, by thy grace. Lord, have mercy. 
Amritya, most holy, most pure, most blessed and glorious, Lady Theotokos, and ever Virgin Mary with all the saints, let us commend ourselves and each other in all our life unto Christ our God. Mine is the might, and thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Those who trust in the Lord are like the Zion, which cannot be moved but abide forever. As the mountains are round about Jerusalem, so the Lord is round about his people from this time and forevermore. For the scepter of wickedness shall not rest upon the land allotted to the righteous, lest the righteous be put forth their hands to do wrong. Be good, O Lord, to those who are good and to those who are upright in their hearts. But those who turn aside their crooked ways, the Lord will lead away with the evildoers. Peace be in Israel. When the Lord brought back those who returned to Zion, we were like those who dreamed. Then our mouth was filled with laughter and our tongue with shouts of joy. Then they said among the nations, the Lord has done great things for them. The Lord has done great things for us. We are glad. Restore our fortunes, O Lord, like the water courses and in the grub. May those who sow in tears reap with shouts of joy. He that goes forth weeping, bearing the seed for sowing, shall come home with shouts of joy, bringing his sheaves with him. Unless the Lord brings a house, those who live this labor in vain. Unless the Lord watches over the city, the watchman stays awake in vain. It is vain that you rise up early and go late to rest, eating the bread of anxious toils. So he gives to his beloved sleep. Slow sons are the heritage from the Lord, the fruit of the womb, a reward. Like carols in the hand of a warrior are the sons of one's youth. Happy is a man who has his quiver full of them. He shall not be put to shame when he speaks to his enemies in the gate. Blessed is everyone who fears the Lord, who walks in his ways. You shall eat the fruit of the labor of your hands. You shall be happy and it shall be well with you. Your wife will be like a fruitful vine within your house. Your children will be like olive shoots around your table. Lo, thus shall the man be blessed who fears the Lord. The Lord bless you from Zion. May you see the prosperity of Jerusalem all the days of your life. May you see your children's children. Peace be upon Israel. Sorely have they afflicted me from my youth. Love is where you now say. Sorely have they afflicted me from my youth as they have not prevailed against me. The flowers plowed upon my back, they have made long their furrows. The Lord is righteous, he has cut the cords of the wicked. May all who hate Zion be put to shame and be turned back. Let them be like grass on the housetops, which withers before it grows up, and with which the reaper does not fill his hand, nor the binder the sheaves of reason. While those who pass by do not say, The blessing of the Lord be upon you, we bless you in the name of the Lord. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Alleluia, 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 glory to thee, O God. Alleluia, 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 glory to thee, O God. Alleluia, 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 glory to thee. Ako blagi človek bude dat spogje si ti bi slabo vsilahi od svoj sinov se tomu duhu ni ne prišno bo veki veko. Let there is forgiveness with thee, 
Thou mayest be feared. I wait the Lord all of my soul waits. In his word I hope. And so awaits the Lord more than the watchman for the morning, more than the watchman for the morning. O Israel, hope the Lord, for with the Lord there is mercy, and with him is plenteous redemption, and he will redeem Israel from all his iniquities. O my God, is the Lord my nights are not raised too high. I do not occupy myself with things too great, too marvelous for me, but I have calmly quieted my soul, like a child quieted at his mother's breast. O Israel, hope for the Lord, from this time forth and forevermore. Remember, O Lord, David's favor, all the hardships he endured. How he swore to the Lord, and he vowed to my name, Jacob, I will not enter my house or go or get into my bed. I will not give sleep to my eyes, nor slumber to my eyelids, until I find a place for the Lord, a dwelling for the mighty one of Jacob. Lo, we heard it in Ephrathah, we heard it in the fields of Jair. Let us go to his dwelling place, let us worship at his footstool. O rise, O Lord, and go to thy resting place. Thou, the ark of thy might, let thy priests be filled with righteousness, let thy saints shout for joy, for thy servant David's sake, and turn away the face of thine anointed one. The Lord swore to David, the sure oak from which he will not turn back. When the sons of your body, I will set in your throne. If your sons keep my covenant, my testimonies, and shall shall teach them. The sons also for shall look to sit upon your throne. The Lord has chosen Zion. He has desired it for this habitation. This is my resting place forever. Here will I dwell, for I have desired it. I will abundantly bless her provisions. I will sass her forth with bread. Her priests I will clothe with salvation. Her saints will shout for joy. There I will make a horn to sprout for David. I have prepared a lamp for my anointed. His enemies I will clothe with shame. But upon himself his crown will shed its luster. Behold how good and pleasant it is when brothers dwell in unity. It is like the precious oil upon the head, running down upon the beard, the beard of Aaron, running down the color of his robes. It is like the dew of Hermon, which falls on Mount Zion. The Lord has commanded a blessing, life forevermore. Then let the Lord be servants of the Lord, we sit one by night in the house of the Lord. Lift up your hands to the holy place and bless the Lord. May the Lord bless you from Zion. You are made heaven and earth. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Alleluia, alleluia, glory, glory to thee, O God. Alleluia, alleluia, glory, glory to thee, O God. Alleluia, alleluia, glory. Again in peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and keep us, O God, by thy grace. Lord, Lord have mercy. I'm our most holy, most pure, most blessed and glorious Lady Theotokos, and ever Virgin Mary with all the saints. Let us commend ourselves and each other in all our life unto Christ our God. Thou art our God, a merciful and saving God, to thee do we send up glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Thank you. 
Lord. fast in spirit, let us lose every bond of iniquity, let us undo the notes of every contract made by violence, let us tear upon just agreements, let us give bread to the hungry, and welcome to our house the poor who have no room to cover them. That we may receive mercy from Christ our God. The righteous shall impeach thee for me, so thou shalt reward me. While fasting with the body, brethren, let us also fast in spirits. Let us lose every bond of iniquity. Let us undo the knots of every contract made by violence. Let us tear up all unjust agreements. Let us give bread to the hungry. And welcome to our house the poor who have no right to cover them. That we may receive great mercy from Christ our God. If there be any virtue and if there be any praise, rightly are these things ascribed to the saints. They bow their necks beneath the sword. For thy sake who has bowed down the heavens and come down, they shed their blood for thee. Who has sent to thyself and taken the form of a servant? They humbled themselves even unto death, following the example of thy poverty. At their prayers have mercy upon us, O God, according to the multitude of thy tender mercies. Jesus, a true spiritual son, since you are us lightning into all the world, and by the brightness of your divine preaching, O oh, ye apostles and eyewitnesses of God, ye have dispersed the darkness of error, and given light to those who fast in evil gloom of ignorance. In speaking, facing down upon us, this for his illumination and great mercy. Let us abide by fasting, rode in the divine chariot of the virtues, and was carried up in the height of the heavens. Eagerly follow his example, O oh my humble soul, and pass from every evil, from every trifling pleasure. So shalt thou escape the harsh and everlasting agony of Gehenna, crying out to Christ, glory be to thee. intercessions for the world, defenders of the orthodox, ye who have the power to remove you with 
upon us unto Christ our God. We beseech you intercede on behalf we have, that unhindered we may keep the holy season of the fast, and receive the grace of the consubstantial trinity. O Christ, Lord, be us preachers worthy of all reverence, grateful apostles. From the holy cross to life, from morning cross to the hope of the Lord. In every way as a most sacred river of light, invested with divine and holy anointing in the Holy Spirit, a place with the brightness that comes from God, always radiantly approaching the Holy of Holies, and partaking of the saving mysteries by grace. As a true and most glorious higher art, with promise to intercede for our souls. For the Lord there is mercy, when there is plenty of redemption, he will if redeem Israel from all his iniquities. Thou wilt rebuild in every way as a most sacred bearer of light, invested with divine and holy anointing in the Holy Spirit. A place with the brightness that comes from God, always radiantly approaching the Holy of Holies, and partaking of the saving mysteries by grace, as a true and most glorious heart, with one that spells our intercedes for us. Thy life was resplendent with virtues that enlighten the faithful, and dispel the fog and the bearer. For thou didst truly appear as a radiant son of all blessed Hierarch, and now thou hast made thy dwelling, where the light now flows for evening shines. By the grace of the Holy Spirit, thou has become a son of the day. Therefore, as we celebrate thy divine and reverent memory, we lovingly honor thee, O Father, and be good Thy pure mind and faith, meditating on corruption, a little uncorruptible body. Thou didst acquire the splendor of the finest flowers. By remaining passionless, thou art adorned with this passion. O Father, and most blessed of the faithful Radiant beacon and intercessor for those who honor thy memory. The glory to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. The fruits of thy virtues, O venerable Father, make me alive has enlightened the hearts of the faithful. For upon hearing of thine and measure of you for humility, who would not wonder at the patience, gentleness, and compassion, thou hast instructed all in the ways of God. And now as thou art adorned with never Intercede on behalf of our souls. Now and ever to each of the angels of heaven. Receive the Archangel Gabriel's voice crying. Rejoice, O Lord of God, for thou 
has won the for the world has the and preserve us from this generation for her, 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 her. Save your Lord, there is no longer any that is godly. Thou, Lord, shall protect us and preserve us from this generation for her. Yeah. 
he had done in creation. Wisdom. The Prokimanon is in the sixth tone. Consider and answer me, O Lord my God. Consider and answer me.
speak my own transgressions and not to judge my brothers. For blessed are thou to the ages of ages. Amen. Let us say with all our soul and with all our mind, let us say. Lord Almighty, the God of our fathers, we pray thee, hearken and have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Have mercy on us, O God, according to thy great mercy, we pray thee, hearken and have mercy. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. And we pray for Metropolitan Teak on our Archbishop Benjamin, Priest, deacons, and all the clergy, for all our brethren in Christ. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. And we pray for this country, its president, for all civil authorities, and those serving in the armed forces. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. And we pray for the blessed and ever member of Holy Orthodox Patriarchs, the blessed and ever member of founders of this holy church, for the newly departed servants of God. Vodrodik and Treva, Radu, David, Garcevan, Evelyn, Tatiana, and Theodore, and for the brother, uh, for all of our fathers and brethren, the Orthodox departed this life before us, who here in all the world lie asleep in the Lord. Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy. Again, we pray for mercy, life, peace, health, salvation, and visitation for the servants of God. <coughs> The suffering of coronavirus, Archpriest Ian and Matryoshkinina, Archpriest Michael, Archpriest David and Alice, Archpriest uh, Paul, Priest Joseph, St. Silvan Mission, Deacon Joseph, Deacon Sarah from Susan, Matryoshka Priscilla, Joanne, Catherine, Linda, Karen, Alexandra, Jean, Cheryl, Marie, Lewis, Andrew, Michaela, Joseph, Curtis, Benny, Mary, Lou, Anne, Kent, Bruce, Olga, Elizabeth, Jamie, Gregory, Catherine, Bob, Fitlana, Susan, Timothy, Elena, Dan, Dorothea, Irenaeus, Monica, Elizabeth, Tatiana, Michael, Anna, the newly baptized Andrew, and Vera, and Patrick, newly born Nona, and Sophia, was child, and Amanda, Vera, Elaine, and Svetlana, and for the brethren of this holy temple, and for the pardon and remission of their sins. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. And we pray for those who bring and to do good works in this holy and all venerable temple, those who labor and those who sing, and for all the people here present, who wait thy great and rich mercy. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Now, Lord, to merciful God, and lovest mankind, and thee do we send up glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Pray to the Lord, ye catechumens. Let the faithful pray for the catechumens that the Lord may have mercy on them, that he, may that he may teach them the word of truth, that he may reveal to them the gospel of righteousness, that he may unite them to his holy Catholic and apostolic church. Save them, have mercy on them, help them, and keep them, O God, by thy grace. Bow your heads into the Lord, ye catechumens. God, our God, the creator and maker of all things, who wills that all men should be saved and come to the knowledge of the truth, look upon this service of the catechumens and deliver them from the ancient delusion and the wiles of the adversary. Call them to life eternal, enlightening their souls and bodies, and upbraid them with thy rational flock, which is called by thy holy name. That with us they also may glorify thine all honorable, majestic name, of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. All catechumens depart, depart, catechumens, all that are catechumens depart, let no catechumen remain. Let us, the faithful, again and again in peace, pray unto the Lord. Lord, have mercy. O God, great and praiseworthy, who with by thy life-giving death of thy Christ has translated us from corruption to incorruption, Thou free all our senses from deadly passions by setting over them as a good guide the understanding that is within us, and let our eyes abstain from every evil sight, our hearing be inaccessible to idle words, our tongues be purged of unseemly speech, make clean our lips which praise thee, O Lord. 
Make our hands free refrain from base deeds to work only that which is well pleasing to thee, fortifying all our members and our mind by thy grace. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and keep us, O God, by thy grace. Lord, have mercy. Wisdom granted thee, O do all glory, honor, and worship to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto ages of hatred. Amen. Again and again in peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Master, holy and exceeding good, we implore thee, who art rich in mercy, be gracious to us sinners and make us worthy of the reception of thine only begotten Son and our God, the King of glory. Behold, his immaculate body and life give blood entering at this present hour are about to be set forth upon this mystical table, invisibly escorted by multitudes of heavenly hosts, Grant us to partake of them without condemnation, that through them the eyes of our mind may be illumined, and we may become children of the light and of the day. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and keep us, O God, by thy grace. Oh, have mercy. Wisdom, through the gift of thy Christ, with whom thou art blessed, together with thine holy good and life-giving spirit, now and ever and unto ages of ages.
बात करनी है Sanctify that is pray to the Lord. And our God, who loves mankind, having received them upon his holy noetic and all holy noetic altar above the heavens in sweet spiritual fragrance, send down upon us in return his divine grace and the gift of the Holy Spirit that is pray. That we may be delivered from all affliction, wrath, danger, and necessity, let us pray to the Lord. God of unutterable and unseen mysteries, with whom are the hidden treasures of wisdom and knowledge, who hast revealed the service of this liturgy to us, who hast set us sinners through the great love toward mankind to offer to thee gifts and sacrifices for our own sins, for the ignorance of the people, do thou thyself, O invisible King, who doest things great and inscrutable, glorious and marvelous, which cannot be numbered, look upon us, thine unworthy servants who stand at this holy altar as at thy cherubic throne, and upon which resteth thine only begotten Son and our God in the dread mysteries which are set forth, and having freed us and thy faithful people from all uncleanness, sanctify all our souls and bodies with the sanctification which cannot be taken away, that partaking with a clean conscience, with faith unashamed, with heart illumined, of these divine and sanctified things, <coughs> by them being given life, we may be united unto thy Christ himself, our true God, who has said, Whoso eats my flesh and drinks my blood, abide with me and I am him, that by thy word, Lord, dwelling within us, and sojourning among us, we may become the temple of thine all-holy and adorable spirit, redeemed from every diabolical wile, wrought either by deed or word or thought, and may obtain the good things promised to us with all thy saints, when all the ages have been well pleasing unto thee. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and keep us, O God, by thy grace. That the holy evening may be perfect, holy, peaceful, and sinless, let us ask of the Lord. The angel of the peace, a faithful guide, a guardian of our souls and bodies, let us ask of the Lord. Our remission of our sins and transgressions, let us ask of the Lord. All things that are good and profitable for our souls and peace for the world, let us ask of the Lord. That we may complete the remaining time of our life in peace and repentance, let us ask of the Lord. A Christian in to our life painless, blameless, and peaceful, and a good defense. For the dread judgment seat of Christ, let us ask. Having asked for the unity of the faith and the communion of the Holy Spirit, let us commend ourselves and each other in all our life unto Christ our God. Make us 
Jesus, for her the O Master, with boldness without condemnation, to dare to call on the heavenly God as Father, and to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our day. Forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Mine is the kingdom and the power and the glory of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto ages of ages. condemnation to partake of these thy life-giving mysteries unto thee we have we bowed our heads awaiting from thee thy rich mercy with the grace and compassion love to mankind of the only begotten son with whom thou art blessed together with our holy good and life-giving spirit now and ever and unto ages of ages Let us attend the pre-sanctified holy things are for the holy. One is holy, one is the Lord Jesus Christ. To the glory of God the Father, Amen.
Sasha, the Son of God, and accept me today as a community. For I will not speak of my mysteries and my enemies. Neither will I do this so I give me a kiss. But I will keep you like my best. Remember me, O Lord, in my kingdom. And make it me that I will be mysteries and my to my judgment. Nor to my condemnation, O Lord.
Taken the divine, holy, most pure, immortal, heavenly, life giving, dread mysteries of Christ, let us worthily give thanks unto the Lord. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and keep us, O God, by thy grace. Memory, to, asking that the whole day may be perfect, holy, peaceful, and sinless, let us commend ourselves and each other and all our life unto Christ our God. Now at our sanctification, thee do we send up glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto ages of ages. Let us depart in peace.
Mine is, but today it produces the number, liturgically we're a day ahead, but today my number is St. Patrick, because as much of the world, but perhaps for different reasons, right? The memory, the memory of that great saint and enlightener of Ireland is um, so often celebrated with uh, self-indulgence and, and excess, which would be something very foreign to his character. But I'd like to point out one aspect of his life which is very instructive. Um, it has great parallels to the life of Patriarch Joseph. In his youth, he was, uh, though he was from a good family, seemed to have great prospects in life, was taken into slavery by a raid along the coast. He was captured by uh, the pirates of the day and sold into slavery. So he was on the west, the west coast of Britain and sold into slavery in Ireland, which at that time was not a Christian land. And you can imagine that he would have gone through uh, great temptations, not opportunity to despair, to just be so lost and downcast, having deprived of one's family, homeland, everything. And yet, through that, it, said, it says in his life, that as he shepherded the sheep, he, he was given a work as a, as a slave on a farm, essentially, as a shepherd. He, 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 he cried out to the Lord day and night. He became proficient in, in prayer, unceasing prayer. And so instead of letting those trials turn into bitterness, into a resentment, into depression and despair, which it easily could have, he turned to the Lord. This, this what was what meant it for evil was transformed into good. We see that so often through the lives of the saints, that through these two great trials and temptations, one who remain faithful, the Lord can transform that and work great things. And so we take uh, inspiration from his life as well. Um, so God bless you as we go forward this evening. One note for those who would like to, to stay our usual group, if anyone is able to have a short Orthodox faith and life class after about 20, 20 to 30 minutes today. We won't keep it very long as we don't have a meal to it as we did in the past. Uh, but if you'd like to stay a little bit, we'll, we'll have a, a discussion um, uh, continue about the good of the reading today from Genesis on the creation of mankind. Glory to thee, O oh Lord. Oh, one more, one more. Thank you for reading it. Forget. You're paying very much attention in, in the prayers. And it's my, my joy to announce uh, the birth of uh, baby Sophia Hanika.